Downham v. United States, 1963. In 1961, Raymond Downham was charged in Texas with six federal counts of stealing from the mail and forging checks. On April 25, 1961, the trial jury was sworn in and both the prosecution and defense said that they were ready for the trial. When the jury was brought into the courtroom, the prosecution motioned the court to have the jury dismissed because a key witness against Downham, named Rutledge, was not present. Downham motioned to have the two counts dropped against him, in which Rutledge was a key witness. The judge denied Downham's motion, and the jury was dismissed. Two days later, a second jury was impaneled to try the case. Downham objected on the grounds that the new trial was in violation of the double jeopardy clause of the Fifth Amendment. The federal court denied the motion, and Downham was convicted. He appealed the conviction all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 5-4 to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the second trial was double jeopardy, a violation of the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution. The court ruled that the absence of a witness for the prosecution does not necessitate dismissing the jury. Therefore, the new trial after the dismissal of the first jury constitutes double jeopardy.